and special conditions that uh, that are in the Pokemon TCG. Asleep. Turn a Pokemon anti-clockwise to show that it's asleep. You're not allowed to attack or retreat. Between turns, flip a coin. If heads, the Pokemon wakes up. But if tails, then the Pokemon stays asleep. Paralyzed. Turn the card clockwise for night clockwise 90 degrees to show that it's paralyzed. You can't attack or treat and you also don't use a coin. So so it so the paralyzed condition is gone after your next turn. Confused Turn a card upside down to show it's confused. When you want to attack, flip a coin. If heads, the attack works normally. But if tails, the attack does nothing and and put three damage counters on your Pokemon or 30 damage. Poison. Put a poison mark replacing other poison mark that's already there and the Pokemon is still allowed to attack and retreat. And you do not flip a coin. So between turns, put 10 damage on your Pokemon. Burn. Put a burn mark on the on the Pokemon, replacing any other bur- burn mark that's already there. Yeah, so like I said, put a burn mark, replacing any other burn mark that's already there. Between turns, put put two dam put twenty damage on your Pokemon. Then flip a coin. If heads, then if heads, um, your Pokemon is cured and not burnt anymore. All special conditions could be cured by. So first of all, we're going to do a sleep. If the coin is heads, it could. It's it could be cured. Oh, if you or if you evolve a Pokemon like this. Paralyzed. It could be it it will be cured after your next turn, but it if it still won't be cured, um like asleep, you can play trainer cards, make it go to bench, or evolve it. Confused is Really the same, so I mean, uh, for some you you flip a coin, but for this one, I mean, paralyzed you, paralyzed in a sleep, you flip a coin and burn too. But confused, I mean, you flip a coin, but it's not for curing; it's for attacking. And how to cure it? You could either return it to the bench or evolve. You could also use some trainer cards that remove this special condition. Poison and burn. Poison and burn are both represented by marks, so they so Pokemon could be poisoned and burned at the same time. They could be cured by going to the bench and by some trainer cards. But for a burn, you flip a coin. If it's heads, then the burn condition is removed. For poison, um, you the um, you don't flip a coin. It's just like that. But both of them also have something they could use to cure, and that is evolving. And since a sleep Pokemon, since a sleep, since a sleep Pokemon, paralyzed Pokemon. And confused Pokemon make the cards rotate, then whichever happened last is the one in effect. For example, your Pokemon is paralyzed, and your opponent's Pokemon makes it asleep. So, instead of being paralyzed, the Pokemon is now asleep. But for poison and burn, since they're represented by Mark, a Pokemon could be poisoned and burned at the same time, while it's either asleep confused or paralyzed.